just a second, Jim. We want to review the top ten, if you please. All right? All Let's right. quickly go over them. Phyllis? All right. Miss Texas, Suzanne Lawrence. Suzanne is majoring in music therapy and wants to pursue that as her career and has founded a support group for cancer patients. Miss Pennsylvania, Marla Wynn, hopes to get a doctorate in education. She's a member of the North American Association of Ventriloquists. Miss Tennessee, Dana Brown, a law student at Memphis State who hopes to practice law. Dana has worked as a music teacher, band director, math teacher to help pay school tuition. Miss Virginia, Shannon Noel Depew, a college junior majoring in business management and political science. She wants a business career linked to politics. Miss South Carolina, Mary Wydell Gaining. She's a teacher of deaf students, recites poetry and sign language, and hopes to get a doctorate in speech pathology. Miss Iowa, Carrie Lynn Rosenberg, elected a Phi Beta Kappa and a National Merit Scholar with a 4.0 grade point average. Carrie wants to combine a singing career with a college teaching. Miss Oklahoma, Cynthia White. She's an auditor and certified public accountant who started her own business in the sixth grade. Cynthia wants to have her own accounting firm. Miss Colorado, Carrie Mitchell, made the dean's list in college. Carrie is a member of Concerned Women for America and hopes to get a master's degree in psychology and counseling. Miss Illinois, Marjorie Judith Vincent, a third-year law student at Duke University and was a finalist in a major piano competition. Marjorie hopes to practice international law. And Miss Louisiana, Lene Fayer, a college junior who's been working full-time while going to school. Lene hopes to pursue a music career and to become an entertainment lawyer. And there they are. Our top ten, and now we are going to select our runners-up in Miss America 1991, Jim Clancy, Price Waterhouse. Let me have that envelope, yeah, yeah, yeah. sir. <laughs> Welcome, Sight, and thank you, and thanks to Price Waterhouse. Now, what I'm going to do is announce first, I will announce the second, third, and fourth runners-up, or first, second, third, and fourth. Each will receive a special scholarship. So hold on, everyone. Here we go. The fourth runner-up and winner of an $8,000 scholarship is Linnea Marie Fayard, Miss Louisiana. The third runner-up and the winner of an $11,000 scholarship, Suzanne Lawrence, Miss Texas. The second runner-up, who wins a $14,000 scholarship, Dana Brown, Miss Tennessee. Now that leaves seven finalists. All will receive scholarships, but right now I'm going to announce only two names. One will be first runner-up. She will receive a $20,000 scholarship. The second name that I announce will be awarded a $35,000 scholarship and will represent our nation throughout the world. She will be our 70th anniversary winner, Miss America 1991. The first runner-up is Mary Waddell Ganey, Miss South Carolina. And now, the winner, the new holder of the title that American women have dreamed of and aspired to for 70 years, our new Miss America 1991 is Marjorie Judith Vincent, Miss Illinois. Congratulations, Miss America. Now, before Miss America walks that wonderful runway, I've been thinking about this, and if you don't mind, I'm going to make just a slight change in the end of this show. This is a very special night, Marjorie, for you. It's a very special night for the Miss America pageant. 
70 years. And all night we've been talking about tradition, okay? Now stay with me, Booth. It's not a big change. We've been talking about tradition. This may never happen again. I think it's only right that you're serenaded by one of the true traditions of the Miss America pageant, Bert Parks. All right with you? How about it, everybody? Bert? Hey, how gracious of you. Miss America, what an honor. You are so beautiful. Miss America of 1991, friends, go out and meet your subjects. Oh, there she is, Miss America. There she is, your ideal, the dream of a million girls. Oh, for the pretty can come true in a lab of city, for she may turn out to be the queen. She took the town by storm with her. All American tales of calm and fancy. Walking on air, she is. Carest of the fair, she is. 